Hello everyone, Red Claw here, um, coming in with one of my first unscripted uh, thoughts videos. Basically, they're going to be my responses, for lack of a better term, for whenever there's a hot take that is happening in the VTuber community, and I'm just giving my rough opinion on it. I'm going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible, but let's see where this goes, shall we? So right now in the community, there's been um, heavy discussion over do you need to spend a shit ton of money on a crazy good model to make it as a VTuber? And the answer is complicated. The simplest answer is no. The simplest answer is no. You do not need to spend a shit ton of money on VTubing. There is this very bad misconception in the community that you need to have a model with all the fixins, all the emotes, all the animations, all the freaking V bridge of physics to be an amazing model. And that is simply not the case. You can start off with much more cost effective means. If any of you recently saw my anniversary subathon trailer, which by the way, August 23rd, 4 p.m., 10 day subathon, let's go, wink, there's my plug for the day. Um, I literally started off as a PNG VTuber. And I was a PNG VTuber for four months before transitioning over to having a full-on working model. I was lucky and didn't spend money on the PNG because I am an artist. I was able to make it myself. But you can commission artists to do simply a PNG reactive for you. They can make one. And you're still going to spend money, but you're not going to be spending as much as, let's say, a full-on, full-body model. It's, you're going to be spending a, a fraction of that price. Another op valid option is Vroid. Vroid is a totally valid free program that gives you free 3D models that can be customized on things like Blender. So you can make, you can get yourself a Vroid model and make it customized or pay someone to customize it for you on a program like Blender. So no, you do not need to start off with this huge, crazy model because here's the other thing and this is going to go into a deeper issue here and i had i had this conversation months ago and i was considered the bad guy for saying this but there was a vtuber who basically said that the only way to make it big is if you start off with an amazingly huge model because that's what people come for and i greatly disagree with that the model is a great way of getting people to come in it's not a great way to have people stay you could have an amazing model but if you aren't building community, if you aren't presenting a personality that people connect with or vibe with, then the model doesn't really mean much. The model doesn't really mean much because anyone with a, anyone with a, with deep enough pockets can get an amazing, huge model. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to have a community. They're going to have an audience that sticks around to stay with them. Now, let's go into the more complicated side of things because that is, because what I was just discussing is also the nuance as to why maybe spending the money um, is worth it. Because here's the other thing. In general right now, getting a VTuber model will be more expensive than it was, let's say, last year, especially if you're in the US. Um, my friend Ka Cabal, which you should absolutely check out Cabal, pointed out in a recent video of theirs that um, we are very much on the cusp in the U.S. of a recession. Inflation is going crazy and artists need money to live, so we are raising our prices. So to get a good model, you're spending anywhere between what you are spending anywhere between $1,000 to up to that ludicrous $9,000. I'm, I'm seeing an average for a, for a very good model to be about four grand. And you're probably saying that's insane, that's crazy, but like I said, remember, like, this stuff isn't easy. If any of you have been coming in and seeing my recent streams where I've been showing you all how I make a model, you can understand why we're spending the money that we're spending. This stuff isn't cheap to- this stuff takes time. This stuff is very time-consuming. And a good chunk of the time, we're given a deadline. So, we have to do all this with a deadline in mind part of the time. So that's why the models are getting so expensive. Now, am I saying that I wish it was cheaper? Absolutely, but it do, but you have to take into account that the artists need the money 
to do it because it is taking up a good chunk of their time and their work schedules. So the long and short of it, Will having a super expensive $9,000 plus dollar model get you big in VTubing? Absolutely not. You will make yourself big in VTubing or you won't. Your community and how you curate and help that community grow will determine if you make it into VTubing. You can start off with something as simple as a PNG because PNG tubers are valid. Vroid VTubers are valid. You can start off with those and if you wish to then begin to save up and, and spend on a more luxurious model, you can. But the model is not going to make you a big VTuber. You will. Um, so yeah, thanks for sticking by and watching that. Um, like I said, I might be doing more of these. Might be doing more of these if I ever get some time. But, yeah, no, I just wanted to uh, vocalize my thoughts on that because I've been seeing it happening a lot over the past few weeks and I think it's something that needs to be discussed. Um, anyway, if you want, you can catch me on twitch.tv slash redclaw. Um, I also have a YouTube and a TikTok of the same name. And you can follow me on my Twitter for all my other ramblings and where I piss off incels, also at Red Cloud Draws. And I'll see you all next stream. Bye, everyone.